Okay, uh, here is a problem that we're going to do. This one, we are uh, we're going to write a systems of linear two equations given a table, value, or verbal description. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to find out which equation goes with the graph below. All right, so the first thing I need to do, and I'm going to try to enlarge this just a little bit so we can see it, is I need to see how I'm going to find the two equations. All right, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, one is we can solve for each of the categories below and we're looking to see if they all intersect or if any of them intersect in that area. So that's the area we're really focusing on. So I'm going to take A and I'm going to redo A so we can see it a little better. All right, so it's 5x plus 5y equals 5. And the other one's negative 6x plus 2y equals 2. Now, at the top part, I can already see that I can divide all of them by 5, which I'm going to. So I can kind of see if it kind of resembles anything. So if I divide the top part by 5, divide everything by 5. I'm going to get a 5 on the outside and it's going to be x plus y equals 1. And then the other one would be negative 6 x plus 2y equals 2. Oh, I was sitting here thinking, and I think I'd rather just like to do the elimination method because I have numbers in front of all the variables, x's and y's. So I'd like to do the elimination method. So otherwise, I want to try to eliminate the x's or y's. So I noticed that my x, uh, my bottom equation has a negative 6x, so it's already negative. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6 at the top and everything by 5 on the bottom. And so when I rewrite this, it'll be 30x plus 30y equals 30. And the bottom part will be negative 30x plus 10y equals 10. All right, and so when I do this, this becomes a zero pair. So I got 40y equals 40 divide both sides by 4, y is going to equal 1. Now if we look at our drawing, does y look like it equals 1? No, it does not. So we know this is not our answer. So I know, I know this is not our answer. So let's try B. B is a negative, let's put B here so you know, B is a negative X minus Y equals a negative five, a uh, positive five. And then the other one is X minus three Y equals six. Now this one's already set up in a zero pair, so we'll just mark that out. Bring the others, kind of add them. divide both sides by 4 and then so y equals looks like about 2 and 3 fourths and it's negative so does it look like my y is negative no it would be down here wouldn't it negative 2 two thirds I'm sorry negative 2 thirds is right about there so it's it's down here so there's no way that that's that's it going to work. So we know it's not B. Let's try another one. Let's try C. Negative X plus 3Y equals 6. We've got X plus 5, sorry, X plus Y Alright, and now this is a zero pair here. 
3y plus y is 4y, and again that's 11, so divide both sides by 4. This time y equals 2 and 3 fourths. This time it's positive, and y is 2 and 3 fourths, so that's 1, 2, 3, so it could be correct. So that one could be correct, so let's test for the other one. So otherwise we're going to find out what x is, so that is possible. So we'll put a little check mark by the top part, so that that could be possible. So let's go and check the rest of it. Now I could put 2.75 in there so I could do this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to solve for x. And so I'm going to take the bottom one and I'm going to use it to put 2.75 in there. So we got x plus 2.75 equals 5. Subtract 2.75 and uh, x equals two and a quarter or two point one two five does that look like it's two and one four yes it does and i would say this is our answer now there is another way i could do to check to make sure it matches perfectly i could turn, convert these into the y-intercept just to make sure and when i do that then i could graph it on a calculator so what i'm saying is that when you have negative x negative x plus 3y I said it was so I could take these answers and I can solve for y and then I could graph it on the calculator to see if it it's about the same so if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm saying like if you take this solve for y, move the x over, and make it y equals a negative x plus 5. Graph that on your calculator, then do the other one the same way. So y would equal 2 plus 1 third x, and you can graph that and see if the two uh, uh, crisscross in the same spot.